back. So fourth, I want to talk about the prerequisites that you need for this um, for this course. Uh, it's four simple things. One, you need a Python environment. So uh, if you don't already have Python installed uh, in your computer, or you don't have a virtual environment, um, go to python.org, and you can download the Python version that you need. So let's go to python.org. Uh, and here you can just go ahead and download your release, uh, the latest release at, as, at this time of this video is 3.10. Uh, but you can download really any release that you feel is stable. So uh, we'll probably use, I think I have 3.7 installed, so we'll be using 3.7. If you have something earlier like 3.4, you can use that as well. Uh, the other thing that you're going to be needing is an IDE, right? So uh, basically a coding um, interface, a development interface. Uh, or if you're super comfortable with a you know, text pad and just running things on command line, that's completely fine too. Uh, I'll be using PyCharm. Uh, there's a free version or community version available, uh, but you can, or a trial version, excuse me, for PyCharm. Uh, I think maybe a community version. Um, and there's also Visual Studio Code, which is completely free and pretty robust, so I recommend either of those two. Uh, the next thing that you'll need is an AWS account. So if you go to aws.amazon.com, uh, here you'll see that um, you know if you're not if you don't already have an account, uh, you can certainly create one, right? And um, so that's what I recommend that you do: uh, either create your uh, AWS account or explore it a little bit. And here we'll talk. We'll we'll look at um, the free services that they offer. So let's see. Here we go. Uh, free tier. I'm sorry, it was right in front of my face. So you can use um, S3 technology for free for a year. And so let's take a look at that. What that means so if you don't already have an account you know go ahead and create your free account and let's just quickly look at um, the, the various products that it offers and one of the first ones is s3 uh, so here for 12 months you'll be able to utilize up to five gigs of storage make 20,000 requests and 20,000 put requests so uh, that's more than enough uh, of everything for what we'll be doing in this course so go ahead and have that ready and I mean quite frankly chances are you're not gonna even get billed for like the little files that you uh, interface or that you interact with for S3. Um, so I don't know you might get a build a few cents, but you know, uh, it, unless you're doing more than what's on this course, otherwise, what's in this course doesn't really going to cost you anything. Uh, and then, of course, you also need some knowledge of Python. So, um, just knowing how to install libraries uh, in Python, um, knowing how to use the OS library, we're only going to use like two different like modules or libraries in this course, so that's actually sufficient. Um, and then the last thing I want to actually kind of go back to is a virtual environment. Uh, maybe it's your first time setting up a virtual environment, then I recommend um, you don't, right? So you don't have to spend too much time. You kind of just install and work off your computer or use something like Anaconda, especially if you're on Windows. Um, but if you are curious uh, and you do install PyM, whether it's on your Linux or uh, Mac machine, um, you can simply create a Python virtual environment. So Python. Uh, excuse me, pyenv, since I'm using pyenv virtual env, and here I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to specify the Python version that I want, and I'll, and I'll just call this test py s3, just for the sake of simplicity. And here it's going to use um, uh, my virtual, it's going to create my virtual environment using Python 3.7. Uh, and now that I have that, uh, I'm going to say pyenv activate and then test pi 3 test pi s3 excuse me so like now I'm in my virtual environment test pi s3 once I'm in my virtual environment the only library that I'm going to install is bodo 3 or bodo 3 however you pronounce it so I'm going to type pip install bodo 3 and it should only take a few minutes just to grab that from online actually I already have it installed so it's not really downloading anything and now I have Bodo 3. So now in your virtual environment, you can type Python, check that you're on 3.7, and uh, I can type import Bodo 3, and you, there we go. I'm ready to use a library. So uh, we won't be doing as many things on the terminal, but just kind of want to show what that looks like in terms of virtual environment and getting you know, ready to, to code and everything. So anyways, um, I'll stop right there. Um, but if you have any, you know, you know questions just kind of replay the video at your speed and, and just take it easy um, if, if you're curious about virtual environments um, real Python has a great tutorial on that to install PyEnv and really it's primarily targeted at Mac or um, Linux users 
Uh, if you are on Windows, I definitely recommend going with Anaconda. That's probably the easiest way to kind of get your environment up and running. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.